به أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We welcome Sheikh Abdul Razak Ibn Hassan Ejibu to be the Ninja State. We pray Allah in His infinite mercy make things easy for him and bless his da'wah and continue to elevate his rank in dunya and in akhir. Uh, Sheikh Abdul Razak said something very prolific and very classic. When he was explaining that many du'at today, they've deviated from calling to tawheed. I was expecting Ustaz to mention the reason why they deviated from calling to Tawheed, but you know whenever you are talking, you have a lot of things on your agenda. Sometimes you will be losing this, this one will be coming in. Mm. Sheikh Rabi al-Madakhali Hafizahullah Ta'ala in his book, Manhajul Anbiya, Fi Da'wati Ilallah, he mentioned the reason why du'at today are deviating from the true manhaj of Anbiya. He said because calling to the manhaj of Ambiya, you are going to face a lot of tribulation. Mm -hmm. You are going to see a lot of problems. You will be called names. You will be, uh, people will speak bad against you. This is one of the reasons that Sheikh Rabi made mention that makes du'at today to deviate from Tawheed and they are concentrating on Fadailul A'mal. Mm -hmm. Sheikh Abdul Basit also spoke about it in a few seconds. I was also waiting. Oh, Sheikh, can you mention that reason? Hmm. This is the reason. Hmm. Sheikh Rabi said, because whenever you are calling to Tawheed, you will be called names. Hmm. They will assassinate your character. Hmm. They will separate you from your wives. They will create enemies for you. They will recruit Shabab, youth, to, to go against your da'wah, giving you names that you and they themselves knew deep down their throat that you are free from it. When Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw the first time he saw Angel Gabriel, he told the wife Khadija radiyallahu taala anha, and Khadija took the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to Waraka ibn Naufal. When Khadija narrated to Waraka that this is what my husband saw, this is what my husband saw, Waraka said to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that, Oh Muhammad. ما جاء أحد بمثل ما جئت به إلا عوذي. No one will come with the same message that you, Muhammad, is claiming today or calling people to, except that he will be harmed. وفي رواية إلا عوذي. They will cause harm to him. This is the reason why. Look at the people that are calling to other than Tawheed. Look at how people are celebrating them. Look at how people are celebrating. Let me give you an example. The guy called Mufti Menk. Look at how women are falling in love with his cassette. Had it been Mufti Menk, he's calling to Tawheed. Nobody will love him to this extent, except few. Mm. But he's calling to Fadailul A'man. <coughs> Sorry to say, uh, discussing topics that even a Shia, a Rafid, al Khabith can even speak about. Speaking about how to stay with your wife peacefully at home, how to be lovely, how to be good to the society. Everybody can discuss this, ya akhi. But speak about Tawheed. Look at the Abdurrahman. When he traveled, look at the likes of uh, Zakir Naik. He traveled to all the way to Sokoto. We have Hubbari, where the graves of Usman ibn Fodi, rahimahullah ta'ala, and those great Mujahidun that established or brought Islam to the north, where they were buried, a lot of their graves are being worshipped beside Allah. We were expecting the likes of Zakir Naik be in Sokoto. You were busy quoting the book of Matthew chapter 3, the book of John chapter 7, the book of Corinthians chapter 9. Is this what we need? We need du'at that we call to Tawheed. Sheikh brought a hadith of Mu'adh ibn Jabal, the hadith of Ibn Abbas. Prophet said to Mu'adh that the first thing, he didn't say go and encourage them to pay their zakat. He didn't say, look at the condition we are in in Medina. We are poor. We need to live a good life. Go and get their money. Preach to them to give sadaqat. No. He said the first thing, Ayy Wahidullah. Look at our villages today. Even the cities that claim to be upon Islam. Look at what we are worshipping. Our speech, our actions. We need to regulate all these things. And this is what every individual should stand on his feet to call. It is not only you have to become a sheikh. No. Even in your house, well, minkum ummatun yad'una ilal khayri wa ya'muruna bil ma'aruf. 
the hadith of the Abu 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 Sa'id Al Khudri, مرة منكم منكرا فليغيره بيده فإن لم يستطيع أها فبلسانه فإن لم يستطع فبقلبه وذلك أضعف الإيمان إن أنا ده حديث يسأل لا يمنع أن أحدكم هيبة الناس أن يقول بحق إذا علمه أو سمعه أو شهده Do not let the hatred of people to deprive you from calling to Tawheed. Only a few will stay upon the track of Tawheed. Be among those people. And this is the reason why Imam al-Albani wrote this risala. At Tawheed awwalan. Not we need mosque, we need money to buy mosque, we need money to help our du'ad, to be transporting them from here to here. No. Look at the kind of hotels those people are being given when they arrive to countries like Nigeria. What are they going to discuss? How to be good to your husband? What are they going to discuss? The fawail in building masajid. Naam, this are righteous did. But the first thing to save these great people from shirk, preach tawhid to them. Kalimatu haqqin la tada alana sadiqa. Speaking good things, saying good things, encouraging people to tawhid will make you to have a lot of enemies. Nobody will love you. Because even when people are taking me, you could be a nabi, yeah, okay. If you want to take a vow or you want to swear, swear by Allah, you have a problem with him. You could be a nabi, yeah, this is shirk. Allah is here. Don't use it. Even if you are not good, you become an enemy. Allah is here. This is shirk. Allah is here. Don't use it. It's not good. You become an enemy. Uh -huh. <laughs> So brothers, I don't want to take much of our time. We really appreciate the effort of Ustaz. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him Jannah and increase his knowledge and forgive his lapses and mistake. We are all human, right? We are all uh, human. We made mistake. When Sheikh al Bakar Gumi, rahimahullah ta'ala, he wrote one of his book, Calling to Tawheed, the Sufiya, the Qadriya, we are attacking that. Look at his language. He is very poor. In his Arabic, he is very poor. Abakar Gumi said, The message I'm trying to deliver, is it understandable? Are you here? Sotibo? They say Sotibo. Khalas. So don't let barrier, language barrier, to deprive you from speaking the truth. Speak it. Your target is Tawheed. We are not listening to, oh, to be listening to big, big grammar. That, ah, what is he even saying? This is not what we want. If we can even speak broken, to call to Tawheed, no worship anybody. Now, God, where do you? You go worship. <laughs> we want it. <laughs> we don't need you to be speaking big, big grammar. That we will even be asking, what is that statement? I had three statements. Mm -mm. We are not celebrities. We are du'atun ila Tawheed. Get it right. لكل مكان مقال. With this, I say سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله.